Hello, my name is Andy and I am the Village Idiot, a man with a cart and a GoPro and an unhealthy amount of time on my hands. Welcome back to the district of East Suffolk and I'm stood in the very same place where I ended the last episode in Curtin. This is the parish that's just over the border. In fact, the border is, if you have a look at these creamy yellowy coloured houses just here, the border is just beyond those. So Curtin is in the very far distance and if you come this way you're in today's parish. And I'm starting this one outside the Artisan Smokehouse Cafe and Delhi, which unfortunately is closed. I would have liked to have gone in and had and have a look at this, uh, but unfortunately I can't get in. So never mind. Doesn't mean we can't find something to talk about in the parish of Falkenham. Right, so the main village of Falkenham itself is laid out along one straight road. There are a few bits and bobs going off either way, but the majority of it is along this road here. Uh, so I've moved here to the very eastern edge of the village, which means starting properly at the church, which is behind that little wall over there. So let's go and check that out to start with. So at the back of the churchyard here, I've got a fantastic view of the River Devon and the Devon Creek. Uh, now I'm gonna try a little bit later to go out there. There's a footpath which leads along uh, the edge of Falkenham uh, towards the river. So hopefully I can get that uh, in shot as well. Last thing here in the churchyard is the War Memorial. We'll just catch this before we head off into the village itself.
So I'm used to seeing things that say slow down because there's children, you know, at schools and things like that. But here in Falkenham, you have to slow down because there are loose cats, apparently. There we go. And uh, this here says Norma, 2nd of the 6th, 17th, 15th of the 6th, 18th. So I'm assuming that uh, this sign was put here because that was a cat that uh, fell foul of uh, speeders in this village. pretty much Falkenham village from east to west there isn't really much more to show you uh, than what I've shown you here but if I have missed things that's going to come up in today's picture bits and that's coming your way right now Okay, so out here there's a footpath somewhere that leads to the River Devon and you can see the riverbank over there. I can see uh, a boat or the top of a boat just moving down the river. So it's not too far away. The only problem I've got with this is on this tree here there's a sign that says good old private land, no public right of way. However, the map does show me a public footpath somewhere here. So I'm going to assume that that is meaning the farmland and the footpath is still very much accessible up here. I have a little wander up, see if I can find a footpath and if I can, I'll attempt to go up to the Devon. River here but uh, at least it's a very nice way to end this episode in East Suffolk 
and uh, lovely little village of Falkenham is another one off that list. And the River Devon is looking very nice this morning, even though it is a little bit overcast. It's nice and calm for a tidal river. Really, really good. Okay, I'm going to move on to my next village here in East Suffolk now. So, this has been the parish of Falkenham, and I've been Andy, also known as the Village Idiot, and I'm out.